What's up, collective? This is your girl, Slim. Welcome to Slim Spirit Tarot. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to the family. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video after and it resonates with you, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell. So, you know, when I post new videos and things of that matter. Okay. If you are a, you know, a regular to the channel, welcome back. Welcome back. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for keeping me going each and every day, giving me a reason to get up and besides my daughter and besides my mother, but you know, giving me a reason to get up and continue to do this right now. Um, I think there's like, after this full moon, this energy could feel emotional. Okay. It could feel draining. You could feel down. You could feel like your crown chakra is blocked. Your solar plexus is blocked. Okay, your solar plexus is like right there where your navel is, okay? Um, it's just like a lot of low vibrational energy. Um, if this is not your energy, you could be feeling like somebody in your energy, whether it be your divine feminine or divine masculine, or just somebody that's connected to your person, all right? You could be feeling their energies intertwined with what you already feel, right? So there's a need for you to transmute that energy. It's the need for you to stay busy, move, okay? Because I know for today for me, it was hard. You know, y'all know that during the daytime, I'm a personal trainer, okay? So I, you know, I work out, I train clients. Excuse me, I train myself. And then I do this. So my job all around is to help you mentally, emotionally, and as well as, and give you that clarity that you seek, right? Um, as well as help you with your body physically, you know, so you can gain that confidence, um, get your spark back, get your groove back, okay? Some of you guys are trying to focus on getting your groove back, okay? You could be an older male or older, you know, female trying to get, you know, Stella getting a groove back, okay? Um, there's just a lot of stress. And the divine wanted me to get on here today and talk about um, acceptance, right? Um, I'm currently going through a situation as well of trying to accept things as they are of what it's what is in front of me not really like so much focusing on the possibility of things right so you may be in that energy okay as a collective um but even though you're trying to accept the things that's in front of you it's like your higher self knows that there's something else coming right so there's a huge need for us as a collective, as divine feminine and masculine, to go within and ground ourselves because you need to accept the things that your divine masculine may not be in divine masculine energy. Your divine masculine may have done some things that hurt you. It may have not been intentional for some. For some it is, okay, because they were in karmic energy, okay, um... And now they're transitioning. So you may feel what they're feeling, okay? Even though you're trying to come up out of that, you may feel what your person is feeling. You may feel what the karmic that they're dealing with is feeling, okay? So you have to learn how to decipher the two. But you have to learn how to accept certain things, like, and not make excuses, okay? Because it's like some of us may be in this energy of coming up with excuses and just blaming things on a karmic. Like, let's just have a real moment before we get into this reading. A lot of us are literally... Sitting around, you know, waiting on our person, still trying to work, still trying to move. This is a time doing this separation from your divine feminine, your divine masculine that you are supposed to be working on yourself. This is a time where you're supposed to be healing, working on your healing. The more you heal, the more your twin flame heals. Okay. The more you move on in progress, the more your person will move on in progress so that they can come towards you. It's like you guys come together. When you start focusing your energy on your person and solely just on your person and taking that energy that you need to give to yourself, then your person starts to push further and further away from you. And the same goes for them. But the more you take that energy and you put it back into you, the more you guys gravitate together. Okay. With the magician here. Right. But you also have to accept the sense that your person, that karmic does not owe you no loyalty. Okay, that's something that I had to think about today. Like, she don't owe me no loyalty. You, Your person owes you that loyalty. This karmic that is in your divine masculine, your divine feminine energy, they are doing their job. They are to teach them a lesson. 
This person could have left you for this karmic. They are teaching your person a lesson. Your person is stubborn and hard-headed and they have to learn a lesson. They're doing their job. But your person, everything that they did to you before this karmic, that was your person. Okay? Your person was in that low vibrational karmic energy. You cannot blame the karmic for that energy. You cannot repeat the same cycles of blaming the woman or blaming that man for the, the decisions that your person made while being with you. No, your person made those decisions and you have to accept that. You have to deal with that. You have to look it straight in the face and stop making, um, what is that, excuses for your person and just blaming everything on the karmic. The only thing that your, the karmic, your karmic or this person, your person's karmic has done that they shouldn't have done for majority of you is use spell work. Now that's something that was, that, that was not a part of the deal. That was not a part of their job was to interfere by using spell work because they want to keep your person binded to them or keep them stuck. No, they were supposed to do their job and release them. These karmics are trying to hold on to your person because they see, they didn't know that part of the deal was your person going to somebody that is on a whole nother level, a whole nother ranking, empress or emperor. They didn't know what, who the competition was, see? So that's why they got it twisted, okay? But there's something about accepting, okay? And, and really like looking at your person and not putting all the blame on the karmic because they're like I said the karmic don't owe you no loyalty you don't know them possibly and they don't know you and if you do know them they're still doing their job we all have a job here right your purse your job was to awaken your person and get your person into their empress or emperor energy okay but I just that was a message that was on my heart and I kept being forced to get on here and say because i wasn't going to do a video but i'm like let me just go ahead and tap in spirit since you're putting it on my heart to speak about it okay we're going to get some current energy right now of what's going on for my collective okay on the slim spirits tarot channel if you are looking for a personal read okay you can check out my reviews um they are on sale for 45 dollars okay how long is gonna be i don't know i may wake up tomorrow and say you know what uh, the sale is over so you better pay for it while you can Please note that you can buy more than one reading. So if you want to purchase two readings at once, you can. You can have one now and then you can save the other one on a later date. My system shows me when you have completed one reading and when the next one is that you want to do. OK, I have it set up like that. So, yeah, so buy as many as you want for the rate of forty five dollars. OK, the reading is like an hour, but sometimes longer. I go however the spirit wants me to go however long so it's really not a time limit on it I cover everything that the spirit wants you to know and needs you to know and then if there's anything after that sh that's extra that you may want to know um I do extra you know I do at the, at the end but nine times out of ten everything that you want to know is mixed in with the things that you need to know that spirit is going to give you okay but you're going to walk away for sure with clarity you're not going to be second guessing or confused okay and when it comes to your readings please make sure collective when you order your reasons your, not your reasons when you order your readings okay that you are on time okay if i'm running late i have the common courtesy and decency to email you guys and let you know what's going on if i need to cancel if we can schedule a little later please have the same common dec decency to do that to me because i do have people sometimes schedule back to back and i don't like to interfere with anybody else's time and i don't like people interfering with mine okay um especially since my readings don't really have a time limit all right and also Please understand that my readings, I'm doing your reading the same day or the next day or whenever you're available, whatever we choose, but your video will not be to you probably for three days to a week, okay? So give me time to upload. I do have other people and it's a lot, okay? So I just had to get those messages out there. I love y'all and I thank y'all for your support. Now let's get into this reading. Spirit, what, what has been the current energy that my divine feminine or masculine collective needs to know? What is in the energy? I'm hearing this karmic is enraged. Something must have happened with some of you guys. Yeah, I'm seeing storm warning. Somebody is very much so enraged with somebody, whether it be you or your divine masculine or feminine. 
Okay, Spirit God, what's in the current energy for my collector from Slim Spirit Tarot Channel? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Okay. What do they need to know, Spirit? Shh. No, it's not. Go have a seat, please. Thank you. Go have a seat, please. Okay, so um, with the goddess in the moon, the goddess of the moon, I'm sorry. All right, there's something that's being exposed. There's some clarity that's coming in. Maybe for some of you, what I said is something that you needed to hear today, okay? Or just something that needed to be revealed. But something is about to be revealed about somebody and possibly their finances, okay? Somebody could be um, speaking on how they feel about an attachment, okay? Somebody could be very guarded or standing their ground at this time. But something is definitely being exposed and somebody's taking action. Hmm. Give me more spirit for what's in the energy for my collective. Door to spirit is in reverse. So somebody is either not listening to spirit or spirit is not guiding something. Somebody is going backwards, I feel like. Okay, with the angel of, um, I've heard angel of pentacles. That's not even a card. Angel of balance here, Libra energy. So somebody could be a Cancer, Pisces. Or Scorpio energy here, really any sign. I'm also getting with the angel of balance that gives me just this vibe. So that's like Libra energy. Okay, something is balancing out. Somebody's supposed to be following spirit, but it's like they're not. It's like somebody may be backtracking. Yeah, somebody is deceiving somebody here. There's a lot of deceit and lies here. Because somebody wants to keep somebody else stuck, okay? What about this goddess of the moon? What is being exposed, Spirit, for this current energy? Somebody is, like, taking time to reflect on their appreciations of what they have and what they don't have. Somebody could even be um, appreciating you, Divine Feminine or Masculine. I'm getting somebody is going through a whole bunch of toil and trouble right now. They're going through a lot of different things. Um, a lot of mess, okay, that they have to find their way out of, okay. Um, but they're needing or they're trying to be appreciative of you. It's like I'm getting for I'm also getting the message of somebody is seeing like you who for who you truly are and how they should appreciate you. Yeah. So this divine masculine who could be a um a, a Capricorn, um a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo, okay, they could be in love with you. You could probably or you are in love with this person. What about appreciation, the goddess of the moon spirit? What is being revealed? Yeah, then we have the woman holding a coin in reverse. This is this karmic. This karmic is being exposed for something. What about this woman holding a coin in reverse? What about angel love? So what I'm getting here is this karmic is now wanting to show appreciation to your masculine, divine feminine, um, or divine masculine, but I'm getting more so of a divine feminine energy. Um, this karmic is now wanting to show appreciation and love to your divine masculine because she's scared. It's like this, this person knows that your person is in love with you. So now she's scared of you with the thinking woman. Some of you guys could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini or have it in your chart. You have some deep knowing to a uh, divine ma masculine. Okay, so I said divine masculine. Some of you guys, this is for you. Um, but divine feminine, you have some deep knowing that somebody is scared about this love, this relationship that is going to be victorious and an abundant with you and this divine masculine. This... um. This karmic could be getting this karmic is somebody who's broke or somebody who's not loyal, not committed, um, very ruthless. Somebody who's not spiritual or grounded. They're just all over the place. This person, um, you could know that this person is scared, divine feminine. What about anxiety? Why is anxiety here? Yeah, somebody is scared that you and your person are going to heal this connection. What did I say? That you and your person, and here go the divine masculine. They're scared <clears throat> that you and your person are going to heal your connection and that things are going to end. Something has ended. 
the divine masculine is being protected by Archangel Michael. This divine, this uh, karmic could be getting readings on this divine feminine. And you know it. It's like you have some higher, high level of knowing divine feminine. Okay. What about, um, what about this woman holding a coin? Give me one more. Yeah, this she's taking action to try to get this part to keep this person stuck, bind it to them. I told you somebody could be using getting spell work done. But somebody's setting themselves free. Your divine feminine or your divine masculine is setting themselves free at this moment. Because this is current energy that I'm doing. Something has already ended to bring about a new beginning. This is going to come unexpectedly. Who is this thinking woman? Yes, you know something is requiring you to have patience. Something is requiring you to have patience. Something is about to get ready to be exposed to you. And it's going to make you very happy, divine, feminine, or masculine. Um, but it's requiring you to be patient and heal. You focus on your healing while this situation is ending and stands your ground. But this uh, karmic is taking action on something. What is this karmic taking action on, spirit? What about the Archangel Raphael? What about the garden in the gate? Yeah, this person is trying to use, um, I feel like with Archangel Raphael, this person is trying to keep your person like drained emotionally and keep them in this comfort zone. They're trying to do love. I'm hearing love spells. For a lot of you guys, they're taking action to do like love spells to manipulate this person's hearts and drain them. They're draining their finances. They're draining them energetically as well. Oh, my arm hurt. It's like somebody is literally breaking themselves to keep themselves bounded to like they're spending hella money going broke to keep this person binded to them spiritually. Oh, my arm is hurting. It's like they're pulling out. They're pulling on this person's arm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm feel. I'm an empath. So I can feel the energy like they're, they're literally tugging on your person like they don't want to let this person go. What about the door to spirit in reverse? So somebody is blocked from from going to this door to spirit. Give me one second. Somebody is blocked from coming towards you. Divine masculine or feminine. Somebody's blocked right now. Why is Archangel Michael here with door to spirit in reverse? <clears throat> My throat. What about victory? I feel like something is blocked until your person moves towards healing and recovering. Let me see something. Let me see about this door to spirit. It's giving like block though. My stomach is hurting. Somebody's in a lot of pain. Somebody's sacral chakra could be um, blocked right now or they could be going through something. Yeah, somebody's closing the door. Okay. Yeah, I knew somebody was blocked. So it says that with the door to spirit in reverse, this card reverse signifies a partial or perhaps an even potentially complete closing of a door. It says the hope, the hope for a new opportunity where money or career is concerned may be delayed or possibly even derailed. Don't, don't be disheartened. However, this card reverse reminds you not to put all your eggs in one basket. So what I'm getting here is somebody has officially with Archangel Michael here and the victory card, which gives me cancer energy and the rest and rejuvenation card, which gives me four swords here. Somebody has finally closed the door on this person. I told y'all somebody ended something. OK, this is current energy, energy current ending. <laughs> OK, this is current energy. OK, somebody is finally closing the door or has finally closed the door completely on somebody and now they're moving forward successfully and to their um habitat of spending time alone and healing 
Okay, somebody has to recover from this heartache. Ah, ah, this pain. Y'all see how this um attachment here and how this arm is attached? Somebody is like, somebody's meddling. I keep hearing this. Somebody is trying to keep this person bounded. It's like they have other options, but this person is trying to keep this person bounded to them still because they're heartbroken about this king of pentacles. Um, well, this man holding a coin, which is like the king of pentacles, somebody who's loyal, solid, and stable. They're heartbroken about this because this person has set themselves free. Yes, this person has walked away. If y'all hear my daughter singing in the back, I'm sorry. Hey, you're too loud. Yeah, your person is now healing. What about resting for rejuvenation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person is not speaking right now, okay? Their throat chakra is blocked. And the Archangel Gabriel, he covers the throat chakra. Somebody like who's normally able. Archangel uh, Gabriel gives you the um, authority, gives you the ability to speak your peace, to stand your ground, express how you feel. This person is not expressing how they're feeling right now. And the divine is saying it's going to require you to have patience with this person because they need to heal from this situation that they were bounded to, that they are now done with. Yeah, they've walked away. They're getting placed on the right track. Okay, it's like I'm hearing, don't worry, there's no need to fear. Okay, so there's a need for you to like work on your healing during this time, work on your acceptance, like I said at the beginning. Okay, what about the angel of balance? Yeah, there's a strategy. This person is strategizing right now on how to make things fair, on how to speak to you, how to bring this news to you about this heartbreak. Because I'm feeling like it's like because of this separation of two, it's like this person is not only heartbroken over you because they went to somebody who they thought was their empress, who they thought was their emperor, just to get let down and be drained financially and physically, okay, because they didn't want to change. They were afraid of change. They were stuck in their ways. They were stuck in their comfort zone. So, and being what you meant to come out of that, being what you meant that this person had to be stable, had to bring something to the table, had you know, just had to be something, had to grow and elevate. And this person was afraid of that. So they went back to what they knew. So now this person is strategically while healing, while trying to recover from this separation, they're trying to get messages from Archangel Metatron on how to come to you. And like they're trying to strategize and think about what they're going to say. Yeah, with the thinking man showing, matching the thinking woman. This is somebody who's also spiritual, just like you, who is now tapping into their spiritual gifts. But somebody is steady pulling on their energy. Whether they're put is whether it may be them pulling on your energy, because somebody's I feel like energetically somebody's pulling on my arm. So this could be your person pulling on your arm or pulling at you, trying to talk to you in the 5D. Okay. And but not talking to you in the physical realm, the 3D. But they're strategically trying to think while healing on what they can say to recover this situation to bring about balance. How can they balance out this heartbreak? How can they make this right? What about strategy? Yeah, this person could be coming off as very guarded right now with hostilities. Yeah, thinking man. Okay, we have the thinking woman on here. So this is your person, divine, feminine, or masculine. They're coming off as very guarded right now. They're strategically going about a way of how they can stand their ground. My ear is ringing real loud right now. So you could be getting downloads or messages about this person or they're sending it to you. Yeah, this this is your person. For some of you, you have three people to choose from. Yep. Mm -hmm. And one of them is your person or your person matches you in every way. This is definitely giving pre-emperor, pre-empress energy. Yeah, somebody has definitely walked away and trust their intuition. Your divine masculine, okay, divine feminine has literally walked away, trust their intuition and walked away from a situation and has fully closed the door on whoever this karmic was. They're standing their ground right now. What is hostilities? Why is hostilities here? Yeah, they this uh the all tied up landed on um the world card and Archangel Gabriel. So this person may be hiding the fact that they have set themselves free from a connection that there is an ending. They're not speaking on the fact or telling people that they have ended something with somebody. Yeah, but it's going to be exposed. It's going to be revealed. I'm hearing very soon. Yeah. And I pulled walk away. So this person is like 
trying to balance themselves out. They're strategic, strategically trying to think and go about things on how they can express something to you, okay, and how they're going to come in. But they're they're afraid. I'm also getting that this person's afraid that you're going to that you're being in a hostile type of um, uh, mentality, anger, okay? So this that's what's keeping them stuck, okay? But they do want to give you some type of clarity or some type of truth that they have walked away. I'm getting both energies. They're coming up as guarded and they're freeing themselves of this situation that they were tied up in, and it's but they're not saying anything to people, okay? They're kind of keeping it on a hush-hush, on the low-low. But it's going to be exposed soon that this person has walked away. And what they're walking away to is their happiness. My arm is hurting. This person is still pulling on their energy or they pulling on yours, baby. Yeah. And this person, this, this karmic is going to be mad. They're going to be jealous and envying you. Ow. Some of you all could be ovulating right now. Birthing a new, new ideas are getting ready to come in. What about deceit, spirit? Clarify deceit. Why is that here? Why is that here for my collective, divine masculine and feminine? Yeah, so this person is not. Okay, so I'm getting with deceit. I'm getting this person is uh, is hiding the fact that they're, they were deceived. That they were let down. Okay, by somebody who was using them for their money. Did the see here and financial constraints being here? This uh this karmic who was trying to portray herself as a divine feminine, or this male who was trying to portray themselves as your person's divine masculine, was deceiving this person all along from the beginning. They were strategizing on how they were gonna get drain this person of their finances, what they can get up out of your person. Okay. And now your person is like healing. They're, I'm, they're in spiritual jail. Your person is in spiritual jail right now so that they can heal and gain clarity of what's going on so they can learn their value, okay, and so that they can also see your value. What about deceit and the door to personal healing? Yeah, they're healing from some type of lies and deceit and manipulation. There, there has been a breakup. There has definitely been a breakup, some type of, um, in a relationship because it's tried to hop out, but it wasn't a caring relationship. Somebody was being deceitful from day one. What about broken heart? Yeah, sacral chakra. Your person, um, I'm, I'm hearing your person could have had a, a depth to their ego as well with sacral uh, plexus being here. This person was very committed to being a family or a father figure. They were attached to this. This situation is what kept them bound in this situation. And that that took an unexpected toll on your, uh, brought an unexpected tower to you guys' relationship. And you fell in love with this person. It's like for some of you guys, you knew this was your person. Yeah. What about um the Archangel Ariel? What about this? Yeah, somebody use sex magic here. Yep, the third party is karmic. Use sex magic to keep your person bound to them. Because my sacral plexus kept hurting. This third party could have been messing with other people. This They were definitely using your person for money. What about attachment and sacral plexus? Hmm. Yeah. Your your person's karmic collective. They were wearing a mask. This person was doing magic. Was doing sex magic and doing all types of magic on you and your person. Trying to act like they love them. Yeah, trying to bind them to you. But they were trying to bind your person to them through sex magic. But this person this person had other options and love. What about adjacent possibilities with attachments? She had, he or she had multiple attachments on top of your person because the thinking man has came out. So now we have the thinking man, the thinking woman on the board.
What about the thinking man and adjacent possibilities? Yeah. This karmic had two men. One that she was in love with and then your person. That's karma. That's karma for your person. This is a karmic lesson for your person. And your person not... So that's where that acceptance come in that I was talking about earlier. Your person has to accept that this is karma for what they did to you. Because one, they were hiding their feelings about you. Two... They did a lot of manipulation and lies just like this person who they chose over you. Did a lot of manipulation and lies to get what they wanted out of this person. But the whole time they were in love with somebody else. They were in love with somebody else. But they were just envying the connection that you had with your person. They like, they, they slow. They, they envied the relationship that you and your person had. But they in love with somebody else. They envied it because you guys are on the, the track, the right path to love and abundance. What about the <laughs> what about this thinking man and man holding a heart? What about this thinking man and man holding a heart spirit? Yeah, that's what caused the tower. That's what caused this ending that he not talking about. He or she not talking about. This was unexpected to your divine masculine or feminine, feminine uh, collective. And this put them at a crossroads. Because well, this, this was unexpected because this person, this karmic put your person at a crossroads. And they went and chose family and left you behind. Even though they were told to choose you. So this was a karmic lesson. What about storm warning spirit? Yep, so now they're listening to their intuition. Your person is now listening to their higher self and manifesting you back because they want to fulfill this contract with you. Mm-hmm. Yep, they want to fulfill this con con <laughs> this conversation. They want to fulfill this contract with you. What about this magician and Archangel Uriel and, and Karen connection? This karmic wanted this abundance here. Yeah, they're manifesting this this happiness and this abundance. They're, they're wanting to be on the right track and go, on, go towards their life purpose with you. So because of this situation that they found out that their karmic was cheating on them with another person. Unexpectedly, this is going to bring your person to you. And they're, I'm getting they're going to want to apologize to you. But you possibly have set up boundaries. Mm. Spirit guys, give me clear for clarity on this overall energy here for my collective divine masculine and fem feminine for this current energy. Clarify this overall energy here for my divine masculine and feminine for my collective for this current energy. Give me what we need to know and not want to know. With this energy. Yeah, your person was repeating the same cycle with this this person. This could have been somebody from their past. And now they're seeing it. They're seeing where they messed up at. And now they're setting a boundary. Okay. This person could have been a runner in a connection. Okay. And they sacrificed you. And now they're going through some type of tower or some type of unexpected change. Yep. Now they're wanting an apology. Because you have your guards up. They're wanting to apologize to you. Yeah, you're setting up boundaries. I'm also getting that your person is setting up boundaries with this person. They're feeling victimized, okay? They're feeling heartbroken, depressed. Your person could feel very sad. That's why I said this person could be pro projecting their emotions out on you because of what has happened in their life. It's like I'm getting like your person's life is upside down right now. So as much as you want to be with this person right now, as much as you're yearning for them and they're craving you, 
it's like it's not this is not the right time right now your person still has a more a lessons to learn it's like it's i feel like there's more that has to be revealed here but they're setting up boundaries right now to you and everybody else okay because they feel used right now so they're feeling victimized okay about a breakup so not only do they feel like they were the victim in this this situation with their karmic lover okay they're also thinking about how they broke your heart okay because they held back on you and they were inconsistent with you and they broke your heart so now that's hurting them as well and now they're getting proof about some drama okay they're getting proof about some type of drama or some type of proof that this person has other options and they gave up on the high priestess this gypsy okay so you could be somebody who intuitively knew about what they were doing and they were trying to hide it from you okay it's like this person is pissed off because now they're getting proof on a situation that they could have fought with you about and sacrificed you which was their true happiness Okay, and align with their true path or where they needed to go. And now all of a sudden they want to come in with a apology and they want to they want to renew. They're running towards the star. They're wanting to renew this. They're hoping that they can renew this and this can be fixed because they miss you. Yeah, they've been going through a dry spell because they're letting go of their ex they want to renew this situation with you they want a second chance at love they feel like you would be abundant and you are abundant but they're i'm getting that their heart is closed off and they're feeling like your heart is closed off because they feel like either you manipulated they may be feeling like they manipulated the situation or you may be feeling like this okay or now they're feeling like this about it's like y'all feeling the same way about you feeling like this about this person and then they feeling like that about that person for some of you guys, they went to somebody who they were, who they had a family with. That's who they left you for. A baby mama, baby daddy type situation who they committed to. Who was a liar. Who manipulated them and gave them fake love. And now they're like regretting it. They're resenting the whole situation. Because what they were looking for was all was in front of them all along. And they knew it. Now your person could be involving themselves in some type of addiction, some type of toxic, destructive behavior because of all of this. So that's why the divine is saying things are bad timing. Okay, because now your person is seeing something. The blockages are being removed and your person is seeing something about this whole situation. What about addiction? What about addiction spirit? Yeah, they don't want to. It's like somebody... With vacation in reverse, somebody's not ready to go on a new adventure. Somebody is not, it's like they're, it's like they're just waiting. Okay, with vacation in reverse, like you're, you both are just waiting here. Okay. You are mirroring each other. It's like you both are seeing something. So you may be feeling regret on a certain situation. All right. I'm also getting like, this person wants to come off of this break. It's like they're not ready to take a risk on something I am keep getting, but they don't want to wait any longer either. What about vacation in reverse spirit? Yeah, they didn't want to hurt you. They want to protect you. They want to see you. But they are they know like they need to protect you from their toxic behaviors, th these addictions or something that they have. So they're not, you're not bulging and they're not bulging. They're standing your, their ground and you're standing your ground. Because y'all feeling like I was nothing but kind and genuine and solid with you and you ghosted me. Okay, so this, this could have ended with like no communication. Like one day y'all was talking, next thing you know y'all had an argument and things ended. Okay, but then you got some type of proof that this person was messing around. And now this person is getting some type of proof about their karmic lover okay and now they're wanting to make this situation up to you yeah i can't make this up they knew the path led to you what else is going on spirit with this person that's in this energy yeah they're making a choice after being indecisive and holding back they want to be in a spotlight with you they're craving you what is this options in reverse yeah, they're making a choice. They already made up in their mind that they want to, that they've ended something. Okay. They've already made up their mind that they have closed the door on a certain situation. And now they're, 
they want to rebuild with you. They ha they didn't know if something was love or lust. That's another reason why this person was hot and cold with you. They didn't know if this was the real deal or the fake thing because they had a karmic pretending to be the empress. So they ran away from the connection. They ran away from the star. <laughs> but now they want to come towards the star. What else, spirit? Yeah. They're setting up boundaries right now, okay? Um, you could have blocked this person because you didn't want to deal with the fights. There was definitely an ending here. What else for my collective? There's an ending to somebody's, um, somebody could have had a sex addiction. Your person could have had a sex addiction. Okay. Or just had a lot of lustful desires. Okay. They had a lot of bonds filled with lust for a lot of you. A lot of superficial bonds here. Nothing based on anything real. Okay, so now it's like the divine with that sex car landing sideways on patience in the world. It's going to require you to have some type of patience because this person has to, has to, because this has been hindering them. These sex addictions, this lustful bonds that they have with people, this is going to take some time to end. So this person has to heal from this lustfulness of them that they have. They have to, yeah, they have to end that. They have to get rid of that in order to be with you. Okay, give me more. Yeah, something something definitely ended, guys. Okay, with this being a current energy because something somebody's moving. Because they want to reconcile with you. They had to learn a hard lesson in order to grow. Okay, both of you guys had to learn lessons. This person does not want to let you go. Give me more. Old school is in reverse. Old fashioned thinking takes dating seriously. Take things slow. You things could have been rushed in this situation. Okay. Or this person or somebody is not somebody that they were dealing with. Or this could be you or your person. Take it how it resonates. Somebody was not old fashioned. Somebody had like an open marriage. I mean, open relationship. Brought people inside the relationship. They they move fast. Okay. They didn't think about certain things. What about old school in reverse? Yeah, it was very toxic. Some, there's a lot of endings happening with your person. I feel like and you. So the somebody is having an ending, an ego death, and somebody's also and he he or she is also because I'm getting this is happening for a masculine. But he or she is also having an ending to any toxic addictions, um, toxic relationships, low vibrational energy. They're walking away from a lot of things. It's more than one thing that they're walking away from for them to transition to this emperor. Because this, when this person started dating you, the divine intervened with you for some. Okay. The divine intervened by bringing you in this person's life and dating them. Okay. And around the time that you were dating them, because you were called to awaken them, okay, this person was still dealing with their baby mom or an ex of theirs or a baby daddy or an ex of theirs, okay? They were still dealing with a situation that they feel like they were stuck in, but they weren't getting any love from, okay? But they were still mentally trapped to this person or binded to this person, like I said. Trapped fell out, yeah. So this person, when they met you, they could have been single, but still dealing or from a, with, on a break from somebody, but they were still dealing with this person because it was, it was unrequited. They were hiding this from you because they felt like it's like, they felt like that you like could be that power couple thing. Go have a seat. No. You can have one. Put the rest up, please. Give me the rest. I don't trust you with that. Give me, give one and put the rest up. All right. Thank you. Go have a seat. I'm trying to eat chocolate, y'all. I don't let my baby eat a lot of candy. Yeah. Like I said, 
collective they were trapped in a situation they felt like they couldn't escape from and then you unexpectedly came in okay and gave them some type of breath breath of fresh air and hope okay but when you came in they didn't realize that you were their twin flame the other half of their soul the intensity of this connection just was too much and they ran from they ran from it it was just too much this happened unexpectedly and they started lying to themselves about this situation and this person committed to someone and reconcile with somebody who it was just superficial it was just sexual chemistry but you and your person bond on a soul connection sexual chemistry and a soul connection is totally different because not only is the soul involved and the chemistry is deeply embedded on a whole nother level that nobody will understand unless you're in a soul connection right the sex is there too and it's very passionate so it's like this is hitting on all levels where this is just surface level this this other person that they reconciled with had nothing to offer them so they were lying to themselves about your connection and saying that this person that they committed to their child's mother or father or ex here okay this karmic lover they were lying and saying that that's the one that that was their twin flame no now this person is realizing and feeling stupid and foolish okay for stringing you along because there was a lot of things that was hidden and keeping secrets from you now they're realizing that you're their rich from true and that not only that you activated their twin flames uh i was gonna say twin flame syndrome you activated their heart you gave them some type of awakening you have awakened them to their twin flame connection with you okay now they're seeing with this ending happening and this person doing them how they did you they're seeing that they're in love with you they're seeing that this situation is deeper okay and now they're seeing that you are their wish come true and now they're learning a painful lesson in love anything else spirit okay for some of y'all it's like Timing is up for somebody. Yeah, timing is up for this gossip. <laughs> yeah, somebody's gossiping. But the timing is up. So we have timing in reverse. So time, time is up for this karmic. Okay, this person has been lying, creating barriers, creating manipulation, you know, creating indecision and all types of stuff. Timing is up. What about timing in reverse, spirit? Yeah, so somebody's somebody's spell work has ran out. So this karmic spell work. This person that they have a child with or a family with, this liar here who's very toxic and envious and jealous. This person was using spell work to manipulate the outcome, to keep your person, like I said, they sacrificed your person. I cannot make this up, but that's coming to an end. They, yeah, this person sacrificed your person to manipulate the outcome because they needed this. Now, the the spell work is not working it's ran out what about this now somebody is transforming somebody use somebody use spell work to stop your person from transforming to going to their higher self to raising their vibrations this person i'm getting i almost said these people whoever your person is surrounded by this divine feminine or masculine or this this king or queen that's evolving into a divine feminine or masculine they're learning a lot of change they're learning a lot of lessons that's changing them so they can be the person that they need to be so they can come in to this um twin flame reunion here okay they want a new chance at love with you you could know this with gypsy and divorce is here so there's an ending to somebody's this could be somebody that they were married to they could have married this person but now there's a divorce going on because somebody wants you. Your person wants you. Hold on, y'all. And now that this um now that this karmic spell work isn't working, this was not and they're changing. They're still changing cuz it was meant for them to change. You can't stop God's plan. This is not their wish for them to come true. They're pissed. Yeah, divine intervention. They're pissed. 
Because it's like, what do you mean this is not working? Yeah, this is somebody who used the baby or used the pregnancy or some type of family dynamics to keep your person in indecision. Like, what did I say? I can't make this up with the hot and cold to keep them in this in indecision. Gave them a whole bunch of broken promises. Okay, was talking in their ear, lying, trying to create barriers, trying to create blockages with lies to get an offer just to take your person for granted to sacri and sacrifice, okay, to make them give up their happiness with you. That's some sick stuff. And now things are ending with them. Last message is here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in order for your person to reach their higher self, their new self, they have to end. They have to make a painful decision and end this situation with this third party. They have to accept what it is and that this is not something that's for them and move to their higher self or choose to be stuck in this forever. But for some of you, I'm getting majority your divine masculine or feminine has already ended this situation. It's already over. <clears throat> yeah, your person is in a process of changing right now. With dating in reverse, this person is not interested in love right now. Okay, there could be still people talking in their ear. Okay, the two of cups, there's some type of, this is like the two of cups energy right here. Okay. It's in reverse. So there's there's a lot of people still talking in your person's ear and creating some disharmony between you and your person. What is this gossip and dating in reverse? What is this gossip and dating in reverse spirit? Okay, so there could have been a lot of people that was trying to stop this this reunion or this um union with you and your person from happening. They could have talked your person into getting in this relationship with this karmic. And now they feel unvalued. Now there's a lot of sense of resentment. What about unvalued? Yeah, they're trying to heal from this situation. Yeah, they're separating. They're single. They have separated and they are single. They feel like nobody compares to you. This person kept learning. This person kept learning lessons in the commitment. With this karmic. This is a, another repeated lesson that they had to learn. With this karmic. And now their money is tight. Anything else spirit? You're in. Um, they're healing right now. Doing a lot of self care. I feel like you are too. Um, with the main lady here in beauty. You could intimidate this person. But they're literally regretting. Going back to this past and breaking up with you because now they're depressed. Okay, they're depressed because they're thinking about like how abundant or how their life could have been right now if they would have just told you. Okay, there's a lot of thinking here. Yeah, they want new love. They're depressed about you. For some of you, they feel like you could have moved on. Yeah, they want a new cycle with you. A lot of you, this person, they're... Their karmic is intimidated by you, okay? And they're paying a high priestess or a practitioner to look into what's going on with you or to do some type of spell work on you to keep you depressed and you and your person in separation. What about the gypsy? This person is a person that is never going to stop. Yeah. Somebody is trying to tempt your person. So that they, they can't stay. So it's like they're giving them. This is like witchery like that I'm getting here. This is a dark witch for some of you guys. Somebody who was trying to keep your person stuck with magic. to So that they don't leave. But they finna learn a hard lesson anyway. Because their, their spell work ain't working. Divine Feminine you could be doing return to senders. You could be focusing on protecting you and your divine masculine. No matter what they did to you. You like that's my man. Yeah so they finna expect. They finna learn some unexpected lessons. Okay. That this is that this person is still finna separate from their ass. No matter how much spell work that they try to use. No matter how much they try to keep them in some type of illusion. Somebody is seeing that they are fake. 
and that it, this is unrequited that is nothing but lies and manipulation here somebody is seeing that yes and they're cleaning it up so no matter how much you try to do this spell work baby it's not gonna work and this is somebody who keeps doing it You could be in a spotlight or social media influencer or something like that. But your person is like, you could be hiding your true feelings and just out here living your best life. Um, your person is hiding the fact that they're watching you. For some of you, you know that this person is watching you. But they're going to be calling you and letting you know that they're single. They just, it's like, they're going to be calling you, testing the waters, right? To see if the feelings are mutual. This person is going to be trying to see if like, you feel the same. It's just like mentally they have been entrapped. They've been trapped by this ex, this karmic. Yeah, but they're they're becoming single. What about spotlight and power space? Power couple. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, they're holding back their feelings. They're holding back their feelings. They have released themselves from this karmic. They have definitely released themselves from this karmic. Let me get some messages. Let's see what your person wants to say to you. Collective. Yeah, this is true love. This would not let go of my finger. Okay, for some, this is true love. What does this uh, divine feminine or masculine want to say to their person, to my collective? What does the divine feminine masculine collective's person want to say to them? One more shuffle. For some of you guys, you could have spoke to this person, or you guys, um, when I spoke to them, like you guys can speak through music to your person, or there are certain songs that remind you of this person, vice versa. It says true love comes when you least expect it. This person, you and this, it's, we have the tower here. You walk into this person's life unexpectedly. For some, this is somebody who you knew for a long time, but you know. So <clears throat> with our regret lying to you landing on mixed feelings pregnancy gypsy a love that grows um this section over here is given at this person you could have asked this person like did they have somebody or did you have anything to what worry about or were they done with this person with their exes and they lied to you about it what about our regret lying to you I won't let you down. So this person wants you to know that they won't let you down. They wish things that could be different. This person loves you. Yeah. I love. It says I love you and I feel you even though we are apart. Okay. This is definitely a divine uh, pair. A uh, swim flame here. This person is deeply in love with you. They, they truly feel foolish and ashamed for lying to you because it's like what they did to you, they got back. You could have been wondering or asking this person, would you ever make things right? And it's like, they're saying, I won't let you down. It's like they hide their feelings for you. You came closest to me within anybody. I miss seeing you. You and this person could live at a distance. Ooh. I want to start over. Yeah, this person wants to start over because they miss seeing you. They find you very sexy. They wish they had treated you better. Give me another one. I still have feelings for you. And at the bottom of the deck, it says you don't know how hard it was to let you go. And I compare others to you. So I'm getting that this uh, divine masculine could have been comparing other options to from with you and other people that they were dating or you and this karmic. And then they after something happened, they saw something different. And now they seeing that you are the person. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull a little bit of tarot and then I'm gonna close this out. Okay, what can they expect? What can my collective expect from their person? What can they expect from their person, spirit guides, from my collective? I keep hearing acceptance is key. I'm gonna make that um my title. What can my collective expect from their person, spirit, with this overall energy? What can they expect with this overall energy? And then the full moon, like I said earlier, I think I said it was yesterday. So you may have saw it, the strawberry moon and Sagittarius cleansing out a lot of karmic energy. 
bringing about a lot of love, prosperity, blessings, okay? But even in order to get those things, you have to clean up the negative, right? So that's maybe why you're feeling the way you're feeling. What can my collective expect with their person? So somebody is coming towards you with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, okay? And the Seven of Cups. Somebody is coming to express how they feel. They could have been like lying with the Seven of Cups and like diluting how they felt about you. Now they're wanting to take action and move things forward, okay? this You, you could have felt rejected by this person or left out in the cold, all right? Just give me more for what they can expect with their person, spirit. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Something is moving slow with the Seven of Wands. Somebody is like, something could be uh, moving slow because something is blocked. Something may be not the right timing right now, okay? Somebody's wanting to come in, but there could still be a lot of illusions here that's slowing a situation down. I'm getting somebody could be standing their ground or there's just a blockage in a the way. There's a lot of illusions that's slowing things down because there's some type of barrier here. What can they expect from their person? Yeah, somebody came in telling a whole bunch of fucking lies and being deceitful and manipulating with the two of cups here. Yeah, there was a lot of illusions, a lot of manipulations in this two of cups energy with this twin flame union. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, something can involve a um somebody's getting rejected with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This person could have rejected you. Uh Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy here. Okay, it could be any signs. There's it's like somebody is like growing. From this, I'm I'm very attracted from this. Somebody could have been like very immature. And as time, as they spend more time in isolation, getting more clarity with the moon card here, they're elevating, they're growing so that they can move into a new direction um, and communicate effectively and be successful at it. Okay, this king of swords is thinking very logically, being very strategic. Okay, this person could have been controlling as well, but it's like things are being brought up. Justice is being served right now. This person is being forced to surrender. And go and, and take some time out and go within and listen to their higher self. Yeah, so that they can come towards you and work on this and give you something that's tangible, okay? So that they can heal this connection, yeah, with this Queen of Cups, okay? You could be psychic. Mm. Clarify this overall energy spirit. Give me one second, y'all. Clarify this overall energy spirit for my collective for it's what they can expect when it comes to their person on their mind. Clear and concise messages, spirit. Clarify this spread here. One more shuffle. Clarify this spread. Yeah, somebody is definitely like and regret. Somebody definitely blocked this this new love offer and made somebody reject this. You could be feeling you could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo feeling like this situation is dragging. Somebody came in to your person and told and manipulated them with a lot of lies. They stole. They did things for selfish intent. They were being very sneaky and conniving and putting up a lot of illusions on this twin flame union. And they slowed it down. They slowed a lot of things down with somebody who's a queen of pentacles, a divine feminine. Yeah, I, I'm telling y'all, this is a divine masculine who's going through this mess. Their karmic is, is interfering. But they're intrigued by this divine feminine. That's so weird. That's the weirdest thing. They can't stand this divine feminine, but they're intrigued by her at the same time. Okay, because she's so nurturing, so healing, so grounded. I'm hearing so magnificent. So they blocked this connection. They blocked 
this cup that was supposed to be yours. And with the five of wands, yes, with the and the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the nine of cups, I cannot make this up. This person blocked this divine feminine who's very independent, very free, very stable, who brings things to the table, who's very celebratory, um, influential, okay, who is wish fulfillment. This rat came in trying to get this cup, trying to jump in that cup. Look at that rat. Somebody sneaky tried to stop this cup from being served or being given to this nine of pentacles. They blocked it. Trying to create a, I, yes, you are the queen of pencils. Trying to create a blockage for the queen of pentacles again here. Trying to create things from moving forward when it comes to some emotional fulfillment with this king of cups. Mm. Jealousy. Jealousy. Don't be jealous of what others have. Mm. I'm here to tell you guys, like this just fell out, I'm not taking this, but I'm here to tell you that things are moving from a three of swords with this heartbreak. Something could have involved a third party. Well, something definitely did involve a third party on your end and as well as your person's end with this karma that they went back to. So with this heartbreak here, things are moving away from a heartbreak very soon and you're going to get communication from your soulmate, your twin, and they're going to be bringing something solid and stable because they're walking away from a queen of swords. Okay, somebody who's very bitter, who wanted to win at all costs. They're walking away. What about this Knight of Cups, Spirit? What can they expect? What about this Knight of Cups? Yeah, somebody came in with this Four of Wands landing on the Seven of Swords. Somebody lied to get this commitment. Somebody lied to get somebody to move in with them or to gain some type of stability here. This could involve the Leo. Yeah, somebody lied and pretended that they were the star to get an ace of pentacles, to get a solid commitment. What about the knight of cups with the four of wands? Give me one more spirit. Yeah, page of pentacles. Yeah, somebody definitely used spell work or some sort to cause an ending with the three of swords here to, to play on somebody's heart chakra, okay? With Archangel, yeah. With that Archangel Raphael coming out with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they use a, a, a love spell here with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they took a risk to try to keep, they took a risk doing magic. With the moon there, possibly doing moon magic to keep somebody trapped. And then you have the magician trying to pop back out on the back. They were being sneaky. They were hiding their hand. I'm hearing repercussions, but they about to get some type of repercussions for that. What about this page of pentacles, spirit? The fool. Yeah, somebody took a, a um, thank you. Somebody took a risk on the situation. I'll be done in a minute. Somebody took a risk on a situation here. This is why I say you have to accept what's going on because yes, magic was involved, but your person, nobody made your person do what they do, what did what they did. This karmic was doing their job. What they messed up at was using magic to get something to work in their favor so they can get this ten of pentacles this commitment this stability this your person's money so they put on illusions mm -mm. yep what about the seven of cups here say about the seven of cups the ace of wands yep somebody definitely used magic with the seven of cups and the ace of wands here this past person to keep somebody stuck just try to hold on to them Yep, with the devil here and this uh, king of pentacles, your person was in karmic energy as well. They were in both very low vibrational energy, so it wasn't that hard to persuade them or use magic on them. What about the seven of cups with the ace of wands here? King of wands, yep. Oop. 
it flipped in reverse. So your person, like I said, this is what you have to accept. Your person was in player energy. Your person was not thinking with their heart when they talked to you. They were thinking with their D-I-C-K or their cat. They weren't thinking about being like they could have been talking like they wanted a family. They could have been talking like they wanted something solid and stable with you. But they were really like manipulating the whole relationship. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. They were saying all the right things. They were playing on your emotions. And now they're missing you. This person was creating a lot of illusions, a lot of lies. They were doing things out of the acts of passion, out, out of lust. They were in a lustful energy. This person does not have like a sense of direction either. They didn't have a sense of direction. They could have had a lot of options. Your person had a lot of options that they were entertaining and that they were dealing with and talking to. This is what I'm saying with that acceptance. You have to accept and you have to not put all the blame on this karmic because your person was acting out in lustful, low vibrational energy as well. What about the Ace of Wands with the Knight of Wands? I mean, so, what about the Ace of Wands? And they was very in and out because I said the Knight of Wands. They were very inconsistent, hot and cold because they had all these people in their energy. They were entertaining all of these people. Seven of Cups. They had many options and possibly different area codes all over the place that they could have been having sex with as well. What about this um, Ace of Wands with the King of Wands in reverse? Yeah, the Hermit. That's another reason why they're going, they have to go into hermit mode. And now they're grieving this nine of pentacles. I'm sorry, this nine of cups. They're grieving you. Sorry, they're grieving you. With the five of cups and the nine of cups, they're grieving you and how they treated you. Judgment has been called on them. So now they're being forced to be an emperor. They didn't want to change. They wanted to stay in these whole ways. Somebody wants to stay a hoe. And now they're in darkness. Yeah. Now they're being now they're alone. Thinking about you, daydreaming about a life with you. Okay, thinking about a family dynamic with you. Thinking about how they hurt you, how they were so in and out with you. And now they want to reunite with you. Now they want to make a choice to finally give you a commitment. Because they're realizing who you are. What about this hermit Virgo energy? What about the hermit with the king of wands in reverse? The magician. Yeah, somebody definitely was using magic, sex magic. Your person could have been using sex magic on you. Or they got sex magic used on them. What about the magician? Give me one for the magician. Yeah, page of swords. Now this person is no longer taking action. So this, yeah, this made somebody no longer take action. So they could have messing with, they could have been messing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Okay, they progressed things for and gave this this uh this Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries a solid commitment. And they stopped taking action towards you after they got what they want. Some of you guys, y'all got intimate with this person after they got what they wanted. They stopped taking action towards you because they were involved with a dark witch. They were involved with the karmic. What about the Knight of Pentacles? And that slowed things down in you guys' relationship. But they were lying anyway. Yeah, it caused the heartbreak. It slowed things down. It caused a lot of heartbreak to you. It puts you in this Queen of Swords energy. Okay, and you had to listen to your higher self. What about the Knight of Pentacles with the Three of Swords? Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this this made you move forward. Okay, this gave you a lot of anxiety. You you probably couldn't sleep. You were restless. Okay, because your heart was hurting so bad because you really thought that this was your person, and it is. But you had to heal from this situation. It's like you put you pulled up your big girl panties or your big boy drawers or whatever, and you just continue to move forward and you just block this person and set up boundaries when it came down to your emotions. It's like you refused to go back. So for some of y'all, y'all already learned the lesson with y'all karmic. This was just another lesson so that you guys can move forward and now you're recovering okay and now i'm getting the same thing is about to happen to your person what about the three of swords with the will of fortune 
it's like even though things seem to like seems like they're slowing down and you're hurting right now or there's been some type of heartbreak or a breakup things are moving forward to bring about a commitment here for the star for you the star seed yeah the divine is definitely working in your favor to bring about this reunion i feel like that's what you don't see happening behind the scenes right what about this ten of pentacles i went ready what about this ten of pentacles Yeah, somebody went and put in work with a family dynamic with the Eight of Pentacles here, and they end up getting betrayed. Your person went to somebody that they had a family with, and now they're in separation with this person, and things are moving. Things are moving in progress. This situation is closed out. This situation between you guys and how things went down were meant to play out. The only thing that I keep saying that was not meant to go down was this magic. Okay. Now somebody is now your person. Now that they done got betrayed, now they're wanting to stand their ground and block out certain things and set up boundaries and move forward towards their healing. Yeah, this King of Pentacles, like I said, because they're grieving. They're grieving how long they took. They're grieving like this situation that caused a stalemate, and now they want to communicate how they miss you, Divine Feminine. Yep, here with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, they see that you're free and abundant. Now they want to come and talk to you because they love you. They feel like you're their happiness with the Ten of Cups. They're grieving you. For some of you guys, you live at a distance from this person. And this person is like getting ready to move. Either they're getting ready to relocate where you are. Or they're about to move and start working on their finances. So that they can get a home. So you can come where they are. Take it how it resonates. Everybody's life is different. Everybody's willing to do different things. What about the seven of wands spirit? Yep. They went and invested everything that they had this sent it to this family dynamic. Yep. Three of pentacles. Okay. They went and gave this third party everything that they had. For some of you guys, they did this because they were trying to protect their kids. Okay, because we have two baby dragons here with this either mama dragon or daddy dragon, whatever the case is. Okay, but they did this because they wanted to protect their their children from this karmic. And as I say that, I didn't notice that the queen of wands is right here. This three of pentacles with this uh queen of uh queen of cups. Ooh, it may be somebody who's a queen of cups in reverse. Okay, um. This three of pentacles with this queen of wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. They wanted to protect this, their children from this mother figure here. Who I mean, who tricked them into getting them a commitment. They lost everything with the five of pentacles. They went from the ten of pentacles to the eight of pentacles, putting in the work with this first person. Ended up getting betrayed and now they're at the five of pentacles. What about the seven of wands with the five of pentacles spirit? They lost everything trying to protect their, their children for some. So now they, they can't take action towards you right now. Yep, there, there's the seven of wands again. They're trying to protect the child. Somebody who they truly care about. Yeah, but at the same time, they're wanting to come towards you. And this person has to heal. Their higher self is telling them that they need to heal. In order to move forward towards you, Divine Feminine. So that's another reason why they're waiting. Yeah, they're needing to heal in order to balance things out. Because this person has went through it. I'm hearing, it's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. <laughs> Don't hate on my singing. But y'all get what I'm saying. Somebody kept. I'm hearing, you keep knocking on the devil's door, you're going to get what you're looking for. Somebody kept knocking their head and not, not, getting, not learning the lesson. This is your person. What about the five of pentacles and the eight of wands in reverse? So they're not taking action towards you because they don't have the finances to do so. Okay. And now they're feeling like you're in the queen of swords energy. Okay. Very cold. You know, you're, you're, you're expecting the truth. They know they're going to have to come towards you with the truth because you already know the truth for some. Okay. And they feel like you're the one that got away. So now it's like they want to heal this situation and reunite with you okay they feel like you're their happiness okay with the temperance the sun card and the three of cups here they're wanting to is that the three of cups no that's the world so they want to reunite with you and then i heard the cups unexpectedly this is going to happen 
<clears throat> and things are going to close out. A cycle is closing out with somebody. Yeah, so something's no longer moving. Something's, something is like, is doesn't have any direction anymore. I mean, I feel like it never did have any direction. I'm also getting that some, whatever this karmic put out is now backfiring. Who is this Queen of Swords spirit? Who is this Queen of Swords? Eight of Cups. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is you, Divine Feminine. I feel like this person has lost everything. So they, they, they and if you guys live at a distance, they don't have the finances to come towards you right now. And plus, it, it's being blocked from them coming towards you anyway because they have a karmic lesson to learn here. They have to close out this cycle, right? They have to start from the bottom back and to get back up with you. Okay, because they have to meet you where you're at. They know they have to come see you with the truth, but they don't want to lose you. They don't want to feel like you're the one that got away. So they're very sad. You could be coming off as very sad because you feel like this person isn't communicating with you. They're not taking action towards you. Okay, but this person with the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Three of Cups, um, that's telling me that this person is returning to reunite with you because they miss you. They miss the nine of pentacles. You are independent. You're solid. You're stable. Okay. You're very abundant. You are the queen of cups. You're very emotional. You're psychic. So you guys can know that this person is returning. Okay. And they see you as emotional fulfillment and happiness. They're grieving the loss of you. And they know that they're taking a long time. What is this for a cup spirit? This queen of wands. Somebody sees you as very attractive. It's like you're pulling them in with your energy. They're holding on to your energy. They want to balance things out. Who is this Queen of Wands? Or I'm sorry. Why well, I want to say reverse? Who is this Queen of Wands? The Ace of Cups. They're very attracted to you. Yeah, when you met your person with the King of Wands in reverse, they were in karmic energy. They were only thinking lustfully. They were only thinking with their sacral chakra. They weren't really thinking about giving you something stable. Now this person is like, now it's like you're wanting to give this person an offer. They could have rejected you in the past, like I said, but now they're now you're pulling them in and now they want to give you an offer. They feel depressed and bored without you. It's like they miss your energy. They miss you. They love you. They're watching you. Okay, they're watching you be successful. They're wanting to come towards you and move things forward. But you could be protecting your energy. What is the seven of swords? Yeah, there's something that there was a tower here. Yep. Okay, so there was a tower here with the seven of swords here. Somebody created a tower. Okay, something is no longer, somebody was hanging on to some, some somebody is no longer waiting with this empress in reverse. Give me one second, y'all. Okay, so I'm getting, there was a lot of sneakiness. This empress in reverse. So this emperor's in reverse. This is somebody who I told you was a copycat. This is somebody who tries to pretend like they was the empress and they're not an empress. They are a mother, but they're not nurturing. They're very neglectful when it comes to their children. So I'm getting that this dragon is the father, your divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay. And now there's some type of, um, there's a rainbow in this tower, which gives me like this tower is like going to bring about a lot of blessings. A lot of things are about to get exposed with this rainbow being in this tower. Okay, so this was a tower because this is a, a man here falling out the window. Normally, it's a man and a woman. So this brought a tower for your person because your person was afraid of moving forward. With this three of wands in reverse, they were turned back to this. They lied and manipulated you, and they didn't tell you a situation, but you already knew that they went back to this past person. This is somebody, your divine masculine's baby mama. Yeah, they were trying to hide this, this that they're burden and that they invested in a third party. They were trying to hide that from you by being by cutting things off and putting you on pause 
they, this was never supposed to be over completely, guys. This was only supposed to be like a break from you guys. And so this unexpectedly happened. This person's like, I'm getting two things. This tower happened due to your person returning to their baby mama or ex or their ex-wife who is not an empress. All right, there's somebody who tried to copy your energy. And I'm also getting now there's a tower that's happening where things are no longer moving forward with the three of wands. Somebody's no longer waiting for or dealing with this empress in reverse. What is the three of wands in reverse with this empress in reverse? Yeah, somebody definitely, what, what is it, the knight of cups? Yeah, somebody returns to and gave their cup to a empress. Which put things at a stalemate and made you, and, and they put you at a stalemate and made you wait. And put you feeling like you lost and you missed out on an opportunity, divine feminine, with this queen of cups. So you were forced to focus on yourself, even though you were missing this person. Yeah. They lied to you about going back to this ex of theirs. What about the nine of wands? Yep. That they that they were uh, still proceeding on investing in this person. They impulsively went to this third party. Mm -mm. And that's another reason why I'm hearing why they have to pay. Because of the, the situation that they did to you. So this is karma for your divine masculine. So they have to accept this and so do you. Because they fucked over you, divine feminine or masculine. Your, your divine feminine or masculine messed over you. They messed over you. They were not yet in divine feminine or masculine energy. You were. You went through a situation with your karma for most of you. What about the two of cups? Nine of swords. What about the two of cups and the nine of swords? Now your person is stressed out. Can't sleep because they thinking about you. They having dreams about you with the nine of cups and how they miss you. With the six of cups, they miss your essence. They miss your independence. They miss your giving nature. They miss you, your nurturing care. They're missing your energy. They miss your love, your touch. They're grieving you. They're grieving you. And they want to tell you this, but they're blocked. You could have blocked this person, this king of cups. I'm sorry, this king of pentacles. Somebody could be a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or a Taurus. Um, but you blocked this person. What about the nine of swords and the nine of cups? You could be seeing nine, 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 eight, 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 seven, seven, seven. What I say, this king of cups, they're missing you. This person is having nightmares about you or just dreams. And now they're, it's like, they're afraid that they gave to the wrong person. They know they gave to the wrong person. Now, what about this king of cups? Now somebody's getting like, I'm hearing a wake up call. Yeah, there's been some type of ending. This King of Cups gave a solid commitment to somebody. They could have told you that they wanted to give you a solid commitment and they didn't. Something has definitely ended that somebody wants to reconcile. With the high priestess. But right now it's blocked. Because this person needs to balance shit out. What about this um, ace of pentacles with the page of wands? What is that? There's some type of news coming in. Yeah, somebody's going to be coming in. Telling you that they changed. With the hierophant. Yeah, they're closing out a cycle. This person is definitely going to be closing out a cycle. Making a choice. To evolve into this emperor. Because they're recovering after some type of ending. Yep, the Hierophant is here. What about the Queen of Pentacles spirit? Knight of Swords. So somebody's coming in. Somebody's sneaking towards you or trying to sneak towards you to have the strength and the courage. Like they're moving in silence. Somebody's not saying anything with the Seven of Cups being here as the underlying energy of the Knight of Swords. Somebody's being strategic. And plotting to come towards you and balance things out. But right now, they're blocked from you. They're blocked from you until they end something else. What about this Knight of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah. 
this person knows that they have to come in with the truth or this person is going to be coming to you with the truth with the ace of swords because they want to put in the work with you right now they're recovering because they're transforming into the emperor but they making a choice they've made a choice or they're making a choice to uh in a cycle to bring in about a new cycle to the star it's just they're doing this in silence what about the knight of swords with the ace of swords somebody is doing a lot of thinking about you and how they're going to do something for you and with you i think another car flipped over yeah, somebody has finally learned the lesson with the Ten of Wands. It's like they don't want to let you go. They're scared, though. They're they're very scared because they know they cause a lot of burdens. This King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is traveling towards you, but they're doing it in a logical way. They're thinking logically about this connection and how toxic the past the past was, and now they're wanting to balance things out. What about the Moon and the Ten of Wands, Spirit? They're coming out of their head. They're being freed from these illusions that they were in. This spell work. Yeah. This person is going to be reaching out to you soon. Somebody could be getting a new car. Somebody's texting me. A dealership is texting me about a new car. I don't need a new car. I just got a new car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's getting out of spiritual jail with this Eight of Swords in reverse. What about the Ace of Cups in reverse? This is somebody who rejected you in the past. Now they're missing you. What did I say? They rejected the nine of pentacles, the true empress. This is pre-empress energy. Now they're missing you. You had a past life with this person. Now they're wanting to come towards you, this king of pentacles, to have this. They, they're deeply in love with you. To have this love soul contract. To fulfill it. To fulfill this mission, this purpose. They're coming very quickly and passionately to the queen of pentacles. After having everything in a stalemate for so long and grieving their happiness with you. Mm. What about this Six of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles? Death card. They don't want things to be over with you. They do not want things to be over with you with the death card. They're, it's like they're trying to retrieve you. They're trying to retrieve this contract with you. And they're going the distance to come towards you. They're standing their ground when it comes to giving you happiness. What about the death card in reverse? This person is definitely returning. Yep. <laughs> this person is returning to the star. The star seed. They want a new beginning with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. And we have the hierophant here. This is a spiritual union. There was a lot of interference to, to try to stop this from balancing out. But this person is gaining the strength and they're moving in silence towards you. Yep, they're making a judgment call. I love it. I love it. So this person is definitely coming for y'all. But it's like, because this is true love, this is a true spiritual soul contract. Not only is this a physical contract, right, with the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, this is a spiritual soul contract so you guys are meant this is like something that's meant to be this is something that's destined if you guys are coming here as twin flames in this lifetime you have a mission you have something to do here on this earth together okay so no matter what spell work no matter what somebody tries to do it's not working but it's all going to come to the light and things will move faster the moment you accept the fact that it's not just this karmic who played a role in this interference. This this th three of swords, this interference, these blockages was just not caused by this third party. It was also caused by your divine feminine or masculine. So you have to make sure that you are not sweeping that what they did under the rug because that means you're not healing. You're not paying attention to the lesson because your person did some shady, grimy things that they have not told you about that you're going to need to have them tell you about because they're going to try to hide with the page of swords in reverse. They're going to try to hide this. They're not going to try to tell you all the things that they have done to you in secret. OK, they did a lot of nasty things to you in secret and not didn't tell you some of you they felt like they didn't owe you no explanation because y'all wasn't together okay but that does not mean that they should have done nasty things to you they could have been open with you because some of y'all were open to them okay y'all were y'all were if y'all had somebody y'all told them that y'all had somebody okay but yeah that's what i have for you today i will talk to you guys later i hope this reading resonated if it did and you made it this far please make sure you like share and subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye